I am Misty with the Traveling Gypsies, and today I'm going to tell you all a little bit about how we live, um, what we do, and the things that we use, how we get them. Um, I know that uh, you all knew that my mother died about eight months ago, and um, I took complete care of her for a year. Uh, the state and the hospitals, uh, King Stars Medical Center, thank you. I was her home health care nurse. I've been in home health care for many, many, many years. I'm disabled now, but I still collect hospital stuff. They sent us so much stuff. Y'all got to see this. I got the best, best, best medical bag that you could possibly imagine. Y'all ready to see this stuff? I'm also going to show you a little bit of TJ stuff too. Girls. Okay. okay. First, we got my, this is TJ's. And this is mine. Oh no, it looks like I got a fetish with with scarves. I got a whole suitcase with scarves. I'm sorry, baby, you have to carry this. Look at all these scarves, my goodness. Okay, here we go. Now, this is my bag. This is my toiletry bag. Inside my bag, I have a lot of good stuff. Y'all can see, I'm gonna take it out. Everything I need, my straightener, my combs, brushes, um, deodorant out that booty. I've got all kinds of things in there. Okay, and then you got this right here. Look at this. Here's a poncho that was my papa's military style. You're not going to get wet with that. That's a fact. Okay, TJ, come here. I'm going to show them a little bit about this. There's another string. I probably keep that. I keep on. Okay, what I do is, let me say this. What I do is, is I make little kits, like medical kits, and I put them together. And um, that way, if someone needs it, or something like that, uh, it's always available and I'm always here to help with medical also because I know what? What do I know? Sis, you know CPR. Oh, very do, very much do, excuse me. Oh, wait, wrong, wrong side, I'm sorry. Okay, in here, you gotta come over here, baby doll. I love you, you're so good. Oh. Um, in here, we got the famous traveling gypsy hat. This is nothing but my hats and good vibes. Okay, medical, okay. Next, right here, I have. So this is just an everything bag. Th no, this right here is for my hats and uh, important papers and just um, little things that I collect, like gypsy gifts. I have so many of them. Okay, let's get started. Here's a little. Uh, this one is meds and um, alcohol pads. Always, I have one of these masks in every single bag. I have Alka Seltzer. These are antibiotics, both of them. Uh, Q-tips. Okay, I've got these. These are good. Maxi pads, girls. I have had a period in like 20 years, but I get these because these are the best thing to soak up blood. Yeah, those are for me. <laughs> yes, sir. And these are too. They're the face they're the face blotches for your foundation, but those work too. In this, I have another little kit. Similar. There's gloves. There is stuff to clean your cuts. Trip antibiotic. There is a. This right here is a. Uh, Handkerchief, I couldn't think about it. You can actually filter water with that and rocks and everything. That's a whole nother video. Band-Aids, I've got um, saline and alcohol pads. And this one, this is a very important one. Okay, this one goes with this right here. Okay. Okay. Stitches. All right, look. There's tape. I want to show you all this. I can do stitches if you needed them. This right here is packing. You pack your uh, stuff with it, you clean it, you pack, uh, this is packing right here. Picture out of cortisone if you're itching. I've got all the utensils and the stuff to do stitches. Uh, I've got all these things right here. Thanks to my mommy and these right here are amazing. My mother had plastic surgery on her back. These things are not um, cheap. They're uh, actually really expensive. They can, they can get a cut better in like 30 minutes probably. It's like that one stuff. They don't leave scars. It's for plastic surgery. You've got a lot of those. Okay. And then next, you never, ever, ever go traveling oh, yeah. without a sewing kit or tape. How do y'all like my little pink flamingo tape? Medical tape. Pretty cool. You know it. And I also got stuff for your back. That's lanicane patches. Those always come in handy, and especially the nicotine patches. And before toothaches. Yes. Lidocaine is always great. Got a lot of uh, triple antibiotic ointment and hydrocortisone. Cannot forget those things right there. If you get hurt out on the field with this girl right here, you got nothing to worry about. Don't worry about it because they used to call me Nurse Sam when I used to live on the riverbank. Because if they got a rash or a cut, who do they come to? They come to me because I, I enjoy it, but it's not for me no more. This is my purpose is to help you all but um, with my medical under my belt. Okay. Next, I've got another little pack here. This is for your eyes. 
uh, to cleanse them. Another maxi pad in there. Okay, we're going on to, let me move this stuff out of the way. We're going on to, oh, you got to have these. Dapper wops, dapper wops, dapper wops. Always got to have those. Okay, next essential. I've got, who? Okay. It's essential. Okay, next I've got a bag full of batteries. Batteries is always good, whether it be for your uh, cell phone, triple triple A, just whatever kind of batteries you need for your headlamps. Okay. Those are super, super clutch, guys. Oh, yeah, these Any are amazing. headlamps. TJ got me this when he took me to see the stars for the first time. We both had them, and we were going up uh, 300... Um, 3,000 foot. 3,000 foot. At 9 o'clock at night, we were rock climbing. And That's right, I baby. Call her up, say, hey, do what? He said... Wear something nice, but something that you don't care to get dirty. He said, and wear your tennis shoes. I was like, oh, no, God, where are we going? No flip-flops. So he took me to? We rock climb Wakiji in the middle of the night. In Wakiji. And it was so awesome. Thank you, TJ. He showed me the stars and then accidentally put on that song, Hungry Eyes. I oh. think I told you about that. We'll reenact that later. Yeah. So there's more maxi pads. Those are good. In this little bag here, oh, I've got, um, this is glue for fabric. If your clothes break and you're out and you don't have the money to buy them, you have this and your sewing kit and your tape. Okay, and here I've got more tape. I've got candles. I've got the fake candles that you can actually just turn on. Turn these on. See, they shine in the, in the light. And, okay. This is good because maybe, just maybe, I've never done it yet, but I'm thinking maybe I could start a fire with that. What do y'all think? If anybody knows how to do it, please teach me because I'll just rather use this. Or matches. I got these for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Just about everything I got was a dollar at the Dollar Tree, you know what I mean? Uh, except for this. This actually cost 40 bucks, and here's this too. Uh, it was Sorry. a long time ago, a year ago. We've been together a year. Oh. I wanted to show you all something that really meant a lot to me. This right here is a breathing kit. Um, my man right here has uh, asthma, as my mother died of COPD. I'm a smoker, I'm trying to quit smoking. I got those nicotine patches. But this is what she had in her hand when she died. She was holding it like this. Not this one, but she was holding it like, these are clean, these are sterile. She was holding it like this, trying to hook it up. These mean a lot to me, and every time I see them, I'm not gonna lie, it makes me want to quit smoking, it breaks my heart. Ain't but nothing I, worse than not being able to breathe, guys, let me tell you, first time experience. But she laid so pretty there, and uh, when I found her, she was just laying like an angel. She, She's in heaven. Okay, so when I stayed with my mother in ICU for going on a year, we were there off and on. We were collecting stuff like these little socks are good, um, these ace bandages. These right here are good for people who swells. Uh, these were my grandma. She actually left them there, and I thought, wow, those are good for people who swell, who's got retains water or anything like this. Okay, and like I said, here we go. This is the pieces that we need. Like I said, I always have one of these masks in there. We have to. These right here are for breathing. This is medication. Um, this right here is my man's, and I've got one just about everywhere. I've got one in his bag, I've got one in the glove compartment, I've got one in here. And I also got one in my purse for TJ, okay? And these are just the pieces that connect together. I've got all, two oxygen tanks, okay, and... Um, so for nebulizer. Yes, and this is just the clean stuff, but this is for your breathing, and I think that's really important, so if you're not breathing well, holler at me, I got you. Okay, again... Let's see this. Oh, yeah, I've got alcohol. This is stuff to clean wounds with. This is the best stuff. This was for uh, surgery, actually. This right here is for, like, gout and, um, like, gout or MS, anything that's hurting. It's, like, muscle rub stuff, like the lanocaine patches that I have. I have quite a bit of stuff, and I feel so blessed. You don't even know. Thank you, God, for giving me what I have. I may live in my car with my man, but you know what? I am blessed. I am blessed with everybody who is following me. I feel so much gratitude. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Okay. This right here, you know, reminds me of my mom also because she had two or three in every room because she was a pot smoker. Come on. And it helped her, actually, because she had a lot of issues like diabetes. Okay, so speaking of diabetes, over here I keep sugar packets and stuff. Okay. So, but anyway, this is my keychain. I got a black stick, which was a gypsy gift. This paracord was a gypsy gift. This is just a little light. Okay. You got these, which is good on your um, your book bags. And these are just little tiny, um, see? Those are chargers. 
Quick they, chargers, yep. Yes, quick chargers. I love these little things right here because I like to put pepper spray. Can't get enough pepper spray. This one was my grandfather's and this was a gypsy gift. Good for people and animals, guys. This makes the, we spill a lot of stuff in there. Sometimes it can get sour. This right here, I spray everything, girl. I swear, I do. I love that stuff. So do my mommy. And sometimes it takes you a minute to get to the laundromat, guys. Yeah. Wet clothes my, from a beach, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, and it does, and trust me, it smells bad. These are my little uh, gadgets. I also have walk, I also have this. I actually found on the ground. This is for paint, but I love it. This is a little um, knife. It's got all kinds of stuff on there. And then we got our walkie talkies. We showed you all these before. 10-4, <laughs> good buddy. 10-4, this is little blondie here. What's she doing over there? All right. Oh, cool wow. breeze in effect. You know it. <laughs> okay, and you can't get enough flashlights, guys. You just Flashlights can't. are a great essential. You can't get enough flashlights. Come on now. Because whenever you don't have electric, you do. We got it. All kinds of stuff. And I got most of this at the Dollar Store, you guys. I'm telling you. Yeah, and you the can The Dollar get Tree has so much stuff. I'm actually going to do um, a run through with $20. I think we did that before, didn't we? Yep. Still got to work on that. So but yeah, I, you can get packs of batteries. It's Dollar Tree, man. The, the yes. long term ones and the small ones, those will work just fine. More lighters. And this, I got in a fight with him over, but I ended up buying my, another one. But I love these things. They're good for everything. Girls, you know you can get one of these for sure. Ain't nothing like a good box knife, That's guys. Right. You don't know. I got this at the Dollar Tree, and it has every single thing that you need. It's got all of the little nugget things to it, all the bits and everything. And this was only freaking $1. Look at that. Yeah. I love this. Just some of my tools there. Okay, and in this box, this is our toolbox, mine and TJ's toolbox. Let me scoot this stuff up. This is her toolbox, guys. Well, it, we got this because we like to, like, put up our curtains and stuff. Can't get enough scissors. I've got all these tiny little girl tools. This was my pat balls right there. TJ threw it and broke it. Look, did, oh, not on purpose, not being mad. But he went to throw it, stick in the grass, and it broke. But Hit the concrete it, instead of the grass, guys. If anybody knows how to sharpen that and fix it, let me know. I really need to fix this. It's old as the hills. Okay, and I've just got stuff like bungee cords, um, all kinds of screwdrivers. I got these, more bungee cords. I love these. These are good for if you're camping. Save your rope, save your cords, save yes. your clamps, guys. All of them. Come into effect everywhere. Yes. So I've got these little things. I also got the knitting things, which I put in here. Uh, little clamps, uh, more bungee cords. These I used to use for my glasses. They're little tiny ones for little things. Hooks, you never have enough hooks. Oh, and another one of those. Okay, nails, hooks, more of this. Now the more one thing about about these nails right here, guys, if you take a, take a little runner of these nails that should go for my air gun, because these nails don't pull out. These get, these will stay in the wood a lot, lot better than a regular nail. So you put it in, they're grooved. So they're kind of like, once you get it in the wood, it's like fish hooked. So they don't pull out as easy. So you just remember that when you're putting them in somewhere. These are called pace load. We're yeah. safety glasses. I don't know what the hell they're They're for uh, air guns, guys. Okay, and so I got gloves. You've got to have gloves and socks and stuff for if you go into the woods. And we love to do hikes. But I keep all these that go to like, um, like, uh, Bread, bread, loaves of bread and things like that. Okay, I'm gonna fix that in a minute. But this is just my little bag of uh, light, fire, you name it. Here's another little uh, bag that we use, toiletry bag for the car. Uh, we got these from the churches, gave us these. Mouthwash, this is TJ's lotion. Gotta have Vaseline lotion, guys. <laughs> That's not mine. Sunburns, sunburns are a mother. Yes, they are, with aloe vera. These are awesome, these are for my car, our car. Okay, there's more of that. Oh, little screwdrivers. And let's see what it lands on. That's her dice of fate for you my D&D &D crew friends. I love hot dogs. Okay, ready? <laughs> yep. Create. Create, and that's exactly what you do. You create. create. And this was my grandparents. I had four of them. Don't know where they all went, but I love that. And here is the smallest kit, survival kit you could possibly imagine, guys. Never throw away your Altoids. I got two brand new... Those, in case I want to listen to something. She, she'll set these up like gifts, gypsy gifts to give other people. Yes, yes. Trade along sure. the way. Yes. Ain't nothing like trade of medical supplies, guys. And if you're out there and you need help, oh, you, gosh. Know, you know, whistles. Yeah, rape whistle. Yep. <laughs> rape whistle. Or you got, if you see a hot dog vendor, I guess. You got a couple matches in there, and what I did was is I, I cut off a little piece of the side, and then I keep it in here so it don't get wet. And I got one other candle there, a bunch of these, you know, just a bunch of cool things in there. Um, to make my little tiny, tiny one. 
Normally, I would put a piece of cotton ball in there and some Vaseline so that I can make a quick fire. Y'all want to try me on a fire? I can make one probably quicker than you. Let's do it. Y'all want? Hey, I sounds challenge, like a challenge. I challenge someone to do a uh, to, who can build a fire the fastest because I'm pretty pretty well good at that. This stuff right here is just my little things that I put in there. We got pulled over the other day in the cop. We got pulled over, not pulled over, but we were talking to a cop. He just walked over and was talking to us. And we was talking about us being a gypsy, you know, travelers. He said, what is that laying on your thing? Thought it was a bag of drugs. I said, uh, are you going to do a drug raid? He said, no. What is that? I said, smell it. Oh, heaven. Oh, my God. This right here is stuff that you put in your dryer. Dryer beads. Oh my God, mm, I can't smell stop. good. Oh, Pour them all over your car. I did. <laughs> Y'all know this stuff. This is awesome. And TJ gave me this as a gypsy gift, too. It's a mushroom. And it is uh, ivory. That is made out of Italian granite. Marble. Italian granite? Oh, uh, I feel special. Uh, you okay. Are an Italian princess. So I want to tell you about this Bible right here. This Bible, these are some people that we're going to give a shout out to. We just met them. But it says, Dear friend, life is short and can be troubling at times. God can give you strength when you need it and provide all your needs. Let go and let God be your God. Jesus loves you. Love in Christ. Romans 3, 8, 28. The people that gave us the, the little um, toolsy bags and the little snacks is the one that gave us this. And I posted their stuff on the website. And this is something my papa got from Jerusalem. Bethlehem, guys. 1986, my papa got this from Bethlehem. Not Jerusalem. Okay, that one's oh. your grandma. And this is for Ming. I just accepted your friend request. Thank you for this Bible, Ming. That's my buddy, Ming. I met him at the homeless shelter. Oh my gosh, look what I found. Oh, no, you did not. Yes, isn't he a doll, baby? I would have so went out with you. We went to the same school, but never even met each other. That's weird. That's yeah, so weird. That was a long time ago, guys. But I remember seeing you like this. You were probably what? How old was you there? Uh, it was in 2000. That, that was the 2000s. You were 20. Shoot. I was 1920, yeah. You were 20. That was it. That was in, on our way to California. California? We, dro we drove cr my first trip cross country. Okay, who's your friend right there? This is um, me and one of my best friends, Michael Markham. Hi, and, Markham and Ashley. And we traveled out. We drove Wonderful 48 people. hours coast to coast. And me, Mike Markham, and James White. There you all are again. What'd you all put right there? What's that say? Well, it was all of our names. And we're in Kentucky. Uh, yeah, that was in, I believe, Utah. Look at you two. Ashley, isn't our men just a dolls? They look so cute <laughs> oh. there. They both, oh, look at you two. Oh, my God. That was the first time seeing the Rocky Mountains. You two are just like little baby faces. Yeah, guys, as soon as I got out of high school, he man, I left, I left this area and started traveling the country. And look at, okay, this was you when you were uh, 20. This was me when I was 19. Oh, cute couple even then. Except for my weird cheese going on there. One eye. Okay, I just wanted to show some of that about yeah, a little bit about uh, us. Thanks uh, for the embarrassing moment there. That's okay. I showed this before, but Katie, did you make this for mommy? Because if you did, I've got it now. And it's so beautiful. I wish you'd make me one. I know that Cindy made me one. I got to go get it. Thank you, beautiful. Can okay. I say something about the dream catcher real quick, babe? Absolutely. It's go. broken a little bit. Guys, I, I just want to share. This brings up... Um, Makes me think about something here. Um, but whenever I went to the rehab facility, man, there was one book in there that wasn't like um, addiction kind of related. And it was called The the Big uh, the Dream Giver. And in oh. The Dream Giver, this kid dreamed big and about amazing things. And kids all, and everybody always told him he could never achieve those dreams. Oh. He had a dream one night. Every, his life was falling apart. And he wakes up the next morning to find a feather. Mm -hmm. He found that feather. And that feather represented a sign for him to move on, to take the step, to make your dreams come true. Aww. When, when I, I started reading that book, I read through the first chapter. And I am not joking you. When I woke up the next morning, put my sweatshirt on, okay. there was a feather come in on. my shirt. Was there really? There was a feather in my shirt. And, you know, they say there isn't coincidences in this world. Everything is showing that you're on the right path. Leading you on the right way to a lot full of hope. One so the there way. was one laying on your leg the other day, too. And I told you, I said, there's one. Yeah. And we put it in the Bible, actually. And we've had good luck ever since. But see, it's not about luck. It's about ask, believe, and you shall receive. Whether it be law of attraction or your prime creator, whoever it may be. TJ, that was a beautiful so guys, story, honey. I love that. Feather, maybe it was sent to you from the dream giver. You oh. got to take that first step, make that risk, Spiritual. make your dreams come true. I just want to share that, guys spiritual and it's our ancestors 
I want to thank man Bonnie. She always gives me these little things right One here. Second, I told her man. I collected them. <laughs> these little jars. All right. All right, ready? Yep. This is an MRE. These are awesome to have. Uh, they're for the military. This actually is a pop tart. All right, pop tart. Yes. Dehydrated. So I would. I love these. You can actually cook them in the pack and everything. So I've had these a lot. You can take them; they last forever. And then, of course, Misty always. I spray myself everywhere. I got a thousand. I just walk by and be like, uh. I was spraying me too. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, this is just stuff we clean with. This is just some books that we got along the way. Some travel coupons, coupons. that you'll get at any kind of travel center or any rest area, guys. And for my main followers, we love you. I've got a surprise. Terry already told you. Here we go. I'm going to show you what I got. I will be sending my main followers, my main top five followers from Virginia. I got so many of these. From Virginia Beach to North Carolina Beach to, to the where Outer Banks to Roanoke to Norfolk, these Chesapeake Bay, we some washed up from a hurricane. Yes. Oh my gosh, we got stuck. Now I'll let him tell you in a minute when we do our live. But what I'm going to do is I'll put Traveling Gypsies, your name, and what year it was, and the beach that it came from. So I got all these that just keeps going on and on. They're so pretty. Look at these. They're yeah. gorgeous. And if you'd like, this guys, let us let us know, and we I could even drill a hole in for it, and you can put it on as a necklace or a bracelet about or something. Necklaces, yes. If, if you would like it like that, just let it, let us know, and uh, we'll do like that for this? you. They're yeah. really soft. And so anyway, I wanted to show you that. And over here at this table, guys, I'm going to show you one more thing. Here, My baby. Here, I'll do this side. Okay. This is TJ's part. All right. This is all my stuff, our stuff. And boom. Look how neat. All right. Well, guys, Missy does most of the organizing. I usually do the editing work and, and, all, and some of that stuff, man. We but help she, each other, though. She is a trooper. She has, when it comes to organization, this is the girl to have. That's but, right. But, you know, just, You've seen her table full of stuff, you know, this is just kind of basically what I pack. He don't have much. <laughs> um, but I pack my Bible. And this is my learn it. my learner's Bible, man. Start Bible for Beginner by Greg Lowry. This is helping anybody out that's, that's new to the Word and that wants to learn and has a hard time understanding. Have you ever heard, have you ever heard of those Bibles called um, Recovery Bibles? Yeah. Recovery um, Bibles, yeah. That's, this is similar to a Recovery Bible, actually. The way it breaks down, because inside of it, you'll see, like, this is how you should grow from what you, what you've read this is what you should learn and it kind of breaks it down to just help like the recovery and, bible. and how to live by it yes and this is this this runs just like the recovery bible but this is more christian oriented and based and it it is a great read and i recommend anybody to watch craig lowry or, or read any books that he has that's amazing and, and, um joyce meyer awesome i love joyce meyer that's crazy you said you know joyce i hear her voice in my amazing. head sometimes she's got the most distinct voice and so when I hear her voice, girl, I know who she is. I know. I read a book about her, and uh, when I was in jail, I was in the hoe. Oh, this, they let me read it about Joyce Myers. Okay. This is my my main, it's kind of like my, my bat belt, my utility belt. And I organized it. Here we go. Yeah, she helps organize it out, but I, you know, I keep this, I keep this awesome. strapped on the back of my seat so it hangs off my back headrest. It's usually I keep, like, my main things. I put my billfold, my keys. And I put that inhaler in there. inhaler and stuff in there and some rags. You know, and on this side, starting over here, You'll have, this is my big survival knife, traded from another gypsy. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, you'll never help, just in case you're getting a bear fight, you know, you never know. Huh? We got a lot. <laughs> well, let me tell you. We you get a lot of stuff woods, from people, you know? like then, uh, gypsy gifts. We get away too. in here, I keep, like, an extra belt, different types of, uh, I keep, like. Pair rope? Yeah, well, I keep this nylon rope, but I have cut it into a bunch of smaller things, and I braid it into one big thing. So, you can use it for small or use it for heavy duty, whatever you need. And oh, yeah, I love any kind, of, any kind of straps and things like that, mm -hmm. always good to have. And I just keep like my basic things. You know, I'm a big, I'm a big gambler. I got problems like that, so I like shoot dice sometimes. <laughs> and you gave me one too as a child, as a gypsy gift because I love dice too. We we just I don't know why. I do have a problem gambling, but these dice are for for gaming. Baby, I'm so proud of you. I bought him a freaking uh, lottery ticket the other day, and he just now scratched today, and it's been three weeks. Yeah, like three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> and he won three dollars. Yeah. So, but then over here, I keep mostly my chargers and stuff. I keep him in this, and then I, this is what I just keep. My, this is my basic thing. This is my show him how to put it on. Back. Show him. Well, I don't really put it on. I strap well, let's on show us. Show him how it works. If I was to put it on, you, yeah, it's like a cop belt. I don't even think the cops have that much stuff on there. But here's the hook here to hang it on the wall. Traveler does. Or anything else, oh man. yeah, you, I love that. You can strap. You can strap it on here. However, you can strap it on this way, or you well, can hold it and let me look at it on. Oh, you can sling like that, but or you can sling it over your shoulder. That's probably what you do. Like this. 
That, that would be your style. I know yeah. my man. He totally. wouldn't want it around his bed. And I got my blade right here, you know, so I can pull that out. You know, anything. Oh, me. yeah, Rambo. But that's how I, that's how I would pack it. Yes. And, you know, that's so this is what I keep on the back of my driving thing. This is my utility, my my uh, toiletry bag that she made for can me. Can we see Thank it? You. Uh, Open it up. It's basic, you know, I, it's all my basic stuff, you know, guys. Why do you got a clothes hanger in there? Huh? You got a clothes hanger in there. I'll, well, I'll tell you about that when I'm setting the car up. But, you know, just my shaving creams, razors, clean stuff to take showers and stuff. Anywhere you can. Waterfalls, beaches. There's nothing that I did not put in there. Huh? There's nothing that I did not put in there. Yep. She's my she's my trooper. You know it. Guys, I have to have a Oh, fan, boy. Especially sleeping in the car. I'll run my cord across the, um, the oh, shit handles in the back seat. Hang this up with this hook. On that, on that cord, so it can slide back and forth. Hey baby, and I keep it spraying it. Uh, keep it in my face. Keeps me hey cool. Hey baby, what is my pet peeve? She hates fans, but I can't live without it. So everybody yeah. I know does Re it, but it's okay. I'll accept it. The good with the bad. I love relationships. You. Man, have to work with. You know, compromises. Right. Okay. This is this is my main backpack. Well, she's kind of cleared it out right now, but yeah, this I is, washed it out because I sand in it. Yeah, we had sand from the beach, but this is usually what I hike with, and I'll keep all my equipment and everything and in there. Clamps. Yeah, my clamps, my uh, camera equipment, anything that I need while I'm hiking because it has multiple compartments. And then these Nike bags are good. This one's this one's lined here can, to hold heat and hold code. So you, if anything spills in there, it don't it don't affect anything. You know, I'll usually keep my keys, and my inhaler, and stuff here. Put and my change. Lab, could put my laptop in here. Anything I need down I love here. That. And on this bottom section, this is where I usually keep all my cables and my cords and my rope. Oh, cool. And I'll keep all this in here. This is a great, any backpack, like these right here, you know, it keeps a, uh, keeps a cushion on you. But any backpack that snaps in the front, man, is great for like rock climbing or any kind of hiking that you need need to do because you can sure. hang stuff all over it. I love it. You know, and you have these extra cords for whatever you need. So this is a really okay. good bag. And then you can find this at most like Walmarts, Dick's Sporting Goods, anything like that. And so those are just our blankets. We wrote them up. Yeah, we keep all of our blankets, man, and um, yoga, heavy our yoga mats. Yeah, these this is an awesome the Ozark best one. Ozark blanket. Zip can zip up, become a carrying case like a duffel bag. You can zip up. You can we can do about anything with it. Awesome for the beach. Rolls up this time can be used for a sleeping bag or anything. We have just some and it's good for ones. weather because it saved me from almost the tail end of a oh, hurricane. Yeah, we hiked through a hurricane with just stuff yes, over our did. head, like we did. miles. And Crazy. that's just the foam right there that we lay on. You can use you what can, is that? Or one second here, but like with this, you can use um, you can use like blow up mattress and stuff if you're traveling in a car or in a van if you got the room for it. If you're traveling in a small car, we did blow the up mattress a while. Can blow up, but if they have to, you have to deflate them or anything or blow Two them up. Two o'clock in the morning, we're pain, waking up. It's pain, pain in the ass. butt. Get you a thick piece of foam. Cut it to size, wrap a sheet around it, boom. That's all you need, comfort. That's right. I see something over there that you do everywhere you go. Yeah. He's a businessman. Let's check it out. What is this? Oh, he already set up his own freaking little office. Look at that. Well, you know, huh. when you're traveling gypsies and you're filming your film documentaries and photojournalists, you got to constantly be able to work on the road. We're at a, we're at a, a county, a, what is this, a state park? This, yeah, it's a state park. We're at a state park, man, in that Boyd has county. electric. So anytime that you have your chance, you find free Wi-Fi or anything, you got to hand out, got to put them videos out. You got to get that content out there. That's because that's for you all. That is exactly and, right. You know, I, I kind of slacked on this trip, so I got a lot of content. So I've been working here like all day on it. And yeah, we got a lot of videos coming your way. So check that's it out. That's right. We love y'all. What are we? We are Travel Gypsies. Misty and TJ. Yeah, I'm TJ. And this beautiful lady that you have right here is Misty. Is Misty. Guys, and we love you. We love you all. So thank you for everything. Peace out. We got guys, it's Pontiac vibe. Both seats lay down. There's a few different ways that you can uh, fix this thing up. We're about to show you.